Hey guys, I'm Pranav Shastri and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to disassemble your round door lock. You don't need any special tools to do this task. All you need is a pen and a screwdriver. In case you want to install a new lock after disassembling the old one, then you can click on this card here or find the link to that in the description. I've made a video for that. So let's get started. So now let's get started with the dismantling of our round lock. First let us navigate to the lock control side that is the side which does not have the keyhole. On the lock side you can find a small hole just behind the knob. We are going to use this hole and dismantle the lock. When you purchased your lock you would have gotten a knob eject tool along with the lock. You would have to insert that knob eject tool into this particular hole and press the lever while you simultaneously pull the knob outward. You will hear a click sound and the knob will come out. Now what if you don't have this knob eject tool? It is very simple. You can use any pointed object such as a pen or a pencil or a safety pin or anything and follow the same procedure. After you have removed the knob, insert your screwdriver into the groove given in the S-cushion and push it outward. Next you can see that there are two screws. These two screws are directly responsible for holding the lock unit along with the door. Just remove these two screws and the inner plate will also come out. In this way we have successfully dismantled the cylindrical section of our round door lock. The next task to do would be to remove this orthogonal latch unit. It is secured using two wood screws. You can just loosen them and this unit will come out. Now there might be another question in your mind that is how do we remove the knob on the keyhole side? There is a similar process for that as well. You can see that there is a hole on this side as well just behind the knob but the only difference is that there is no visible push lever that you can see in the normal state of this lock which means when the knob is not rotated in either direction it is in the zero state. To find the push lever first rotate your knob to one side completely. If you find it in this direction then good otherwise rotate the knob fully to the opposite direction. During this rotation you will definitely find the push lever. Now in this rotated state, follow the same procedure what we followed for ejecting the knob of the other side. Take the ejection tool or a pen or any pointed object and press the push lever simultaneously pulling the knob outward. Just like the escussion on the other side, it is there on this side as well. But please note that the escussion on this side is not like the other side wherein you can just put a screwdriver into the groove and flip it out. This particular escussion is threaded which means that you can loosen and tighten it. This is provided mainly to adjust the precision of the lock that is to either position it outward or inward with respect to the two sides of the door so that the lock is equally centered to the orthogonal latch unit of the door. So in this way as promised using a pen and a screwdriver we have successfully dismantled our cylindrical door lock unit. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please do consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. If you have any doubts, please do comment them below and I'll try my best to solve them. So thanks for watching.